www.musanice.com. Follow us on Twitter at Musa Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jim Flanagan here, and I'm bringing you another top plays of the week. This time we have the top five hits of the week here for week number two. And if we're gonna talk about hits here, what better way? I'm joined by here a man who knows a lot about hitting. He pulverizes players on the ice. Ladies and gentlemen, low end theory. Thank you, Mr. Hollywood, and for all the guys that I've put into the bench. I've been put into the bench twice as many. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's see who the top hitters for this week were, Holly. Roll it, baby. All right, let's start things off here. And at number five, we have Rocco, who tells Koozie to just sit down. Yeah, you know what, Hollywood? You just can't skate around with your head down. Rocco, a veteran, makes the MHL president pay for putting his head down. At number four here, say hello to New York City. Bam! Look at that macho man elbow to the back of the head, Holly. Classic 80s wrestling right there. At number three here, it's going to be Buckeye Dude who sends Kuzi flying. Nah, Holly, let me tell you. I think Kuzi jumped looking for the penalty there or to make Buckeye feel better about, you know, his small you-know-what size. At number two, it's Ice Cream Truck who sends Evolution into the bench. That's right, Don. Tell him what he's won as a parting gift. A seat on the bench, bitch. And your top hit of the week, it's Ice Cream Truck again, who hits Kuzi. Oh, man. All this does is remind me as a Flyers fan what happened to Eric Lindros. Shades of Scott Stevens taken out. Kuzi. Oh, so ugly. Can he get up? It's got to be a concussion, right? Well, folks, thanks for joining me, The Low End Theory, and my partner in crime, Mr. Hollywood. These are your top five hits for week two, and we'll see you again next week.